We do, Byron, but unfortunately he's heading right towards the little Gauri Chitra cut line. So our chance of staying with him for too much longer is severely at risk at the moment. Unless he decides to turn a little bit more south, if he keeps the direction he's going, we won't have him, unfortunately, for too much longer. So just going to try and keep up with him. It's difficult to see him now. It's also getting to that light where the spotted coat completely... Now, I believe a lot of you did some screenshots of Asana, and well, how can we blame you? That was just so beautiful to see with him on top. It looks like he's going to go up this termite mount too, so let's try quickly getting here, Senzo. I don't know how we're going to do this, but we're going to try. There we go. Uh, sorry, trees. Luckily, most of these are dead, and a lot of them are trees that grow fairly quickly so there's a lot of sickle bush in this area and buffalo thorn both of which are fairly fast growing oh no is that buffalo thorn in the way since or is that okay no it's okay there we go at least he stopped for five seconds so we can have a look and you see he's sniffing around i wonder how much time he's been spending here it's interesting because this is still deep in tingana's territory there's no other young males that have been pushing up this way this used to be where tumba used to hang out so it's almost like hasana and tumba have swapped roles recently hasana has come to chitwa and tumba to juma which we're not complaining because at least we can see both of them still on a fairly regular basis so happy about that now are you going to lie down or are you on hunting mission i think he's just hungry so he's looking around he's not exactly empty and he's not as though he's looking very skinny oh you perfect cat well done now let's just get into position that we can actually see him front on because he's lying ever so perfectly for us sorry little Hosanna we're just going to creep around like this all right Senzo just got to try and squeeze through this little gap there we go. Senzo, how's that? Isn't that wonderful? Now he's gone, at least gone on top of the mound and is now relaxing perfectly. And you can see that, that he's starting to look better and better and he's starting to get bulky. Yes, we're talking about you. Wow. And look at his eyes. His eyes are still getting... Like I was saying earlier, they looked so orange in that sunset, but there's quite a lot of green in them. If you see, just still around the pupil there, there's a little bit of a blue-green hue, and then that orange outer ring. And the pupils are slowly but surely getting bigger. Oh, big yawn. Nice, healthy white teeth for a young male in good condition. Very nice. So, Chitty Chatty Meg, you want to know if all leopards have pink noses or are some of them black? Now, Chitty Chatty Meg, this is an interesting one because you'll hear a lot of guides say that a pink nose means a young animal. It's not necessarily true. If you take Hosanna and Shongile, you'll see Shongile's nose is pretty black already, whereas Hosanna's is quite pink. Now, most of the time, young animals will, or young cats will have pink noses, so lion and leopard, and you'll find that their noses do have quite a pink hue to them. But um, there will be some that will carry their pink nose all the way through their, their life. If you look at Shadow, she's got a very pink nose. Quatile also had a pink nose. And you'll see that Hosanna's is still quite pink at the moment too. Go ahead, Mike. So I'm just trying to get Mike into this sighting. No, Mike, you need to come south onto that road that's got the power line. So Vessel Driveway, you're north of where I am now. And if you come onto the power lines road, I'll be able to, you'll see me from the road. He's just gone static on a termite mound. So he's just looking around, typical young male, just like Tumba. Checks around all over the place, sees what's happening, looks up into the trees, see if there's anything that he can see from that area. So he's a typical youngster in that regard. Now, hopefully he's going to settle a little bit here. He's starting to yawn and he's making a few sort of, grooming motions which generally actually means that he's not going to be too settled when you see cats yawning it normally is a sign that they are going to start moving so i don't think he's going to be down for too long hopefully he will stay for us for the rest of the drive so that we can enjoy his presence because it's so nice to spend time with him and i'm surprised that nobody else is with us it's just us on our own mike is coming now like i say from cheetah plains but otherwise it's just us all by ourselves which is fantastic it's the best thing to spend time with a leopard on your own you feel as though you have a very intimate experience when you are with the leopard by itself but you can see looking around all over the place very alert very aware 
and he needs to be, especially when he's pushing into areas that he hasn't spent too much time. Cindy, you want to know how old will Hosanna be when he tries to set up a territory? Well, Cindy, that's obviously up to the male leopards in this area. So if we find, like, Tingana gets hold of him early, you might find he gets pushed out and then he's nomadic for a while until he finds himself a territory. Or he could be like Quarantine and be able to get himself a territory fairly quickly. So we'll find with Quarantine, he was able to get himself in and early and he's now a dominant male already at his young age. So it just depends on the density of the males within the area, but you're looking at more than likely around four to five years old. That's generally when they start looking for a territory. Some leopards are unlucky and they only get one by six years old, others get sorry, unlucky and only get one at six years old, others get lucky and will get a territory already when they are three and a half, four, like quarantined it. But now we're turning back down into a thicket, so we're going to try and see if we can't just keep up with him while we do that. Byron's now on his quest to keep his list going in the bird challenge by looking for the more nocturnal species.